guys. Been a while since I did a science video, huh? Well, today, I'm going to teach you how to make a telegraph. Um, usually, when you look at how to make a telegraph on YouTube, it's about electromagnets and it makes a clicking noise, but that's boring and making electromagnets, sometimes they don't work. And I wanted to learn how to make one that would, you know, work good. So today, I'm going to teach you how I made that one over there using no real, like, coiling or anything like that. You just buy some wires, some batteries, LEDs or whatever, and stick it on there. So, yeah, let's get straight to it. Alright, so here is my telegraph. Uh, very basic, very simple. Um, got a little momentary switch. with. I got like one with the big thing so my thumb will get it. Yeah. Um, it's very basic, very, very simple. All you need is uh, a power source, an indicator. You can use, like, I do an LED because it, it's easy to find. They're cheap. They're like two bucks for a bunch of them. Um, but you can do pretty much anything, but it you need the right power source for whatever you're using. So, like, a 9-volt giant LED, you need 9 volts. Um, you could do, like, an IR LED thing. Uh, you could do something with Bluetooth, so whenever you push the thing, it'll send out a little Bluetooth sound that'll be picked up on, like, a speaker, like, like that one. Um, you could do, uh, something like a piezo buzzer, so when you do it, it'll go beep, 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 beep. Uh, I didn't do that, because, like I said, I didn't feel like it. But also, um, so, I got all these parts, most of these parts, except these, uh, these little 5.5 millimeter cables. Um, I got those on Amazon, like a whole pack of them for really, really cheap. And they're really good because, like, if you want to extend the wire for, you know, whatever, how far your little telegraph line needs to go, you can just solder on and connect it together. Um, also, you need to know, you need to know how to solder to do this. Uh, it makes it a whole lot easier. Uh, I got this piece of wood. My friend uh, Bria gave it to me because it was a failed thing at the high school. Like, because uh, she was doing something in the high school shop and it didn't work out. So she just gave it to me and said, you can do whatever with it. Um, also, another thing that's weird, like, as I said in the intro, the telegraphs that people make are all the same. Just, you know, a uh, tin can, piece of metal, you know, push the metal down. But that's not really reliable. Um, and also, like, that takes up a lot of space. This thing is, like, barely bigger than my hand. Um, so... Pretty much, all you need to do is take this and, you know, wire the switch up like how you would wire up a switch. Uh, oh shoot, what did I do? And then connect that to, like, the outlet plug. So this outlet plug, whenever you, uh, hung, let me get my, uh, thing real quick. Okay, so the outlet plug connects to whatever your little, uh, telegraph thing will be that it'll transmit. Like, mine, see... It's an LED, so, like, I could send SOS, and people would say it like, um, SOS is three dits, three DAWs, three dits. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Or hello is four, one, I'll show you. One, two, three, wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, one, one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, one, two. Two, three, four, one, two, three, and that's how you say hello. Um, and this one, this one right here, it's uh, it's one of these ones. See where you plug it in. Uh, and that one, it's not connected to the power. It's connected to this little LED in the front. So you can have two lines connected together, and you can send one, and it'll light up their little machine, and then they can send one, and it'll light this one. Now, I have a way to demonstrate that, because I have, I made this really long wire. Um, also, that wire over there, it's like uh, 50 feet. I also got it from Radio Shack. Well, I got it from Jack's Electronics. He's a Radio Shack dealer. So, if you're ever in uh, the area, and you need some electronic stuff, uh, check him out. He's got really good deals. And he's got PCs with Windows 11 for like 200 bucks, and they're like amazing. Oh, dang. I was rambling, but yeah, I'm going to get one of those. So, as you can see, it's got this part and this part, and, uh, I'll connect that up so you can see what it would, uh, you can see what it would look like whenever someone was, 
Oh, that's the wrong one. Whenever somebody was sending you a message. Put that there. Oh, wrong one. Put that there. So as you can see, they're connected. And uh, let's pretend somebody is sending you a message. Like, uh... Well, I had to do it with my other hand, so the... Uh, this is a little uncomfortable. Alright, so... Let's say they were sending you SOS. What? Hold on. Oh, okay. So these these two wires were touching. Uh, that's another thing you probably need to like insulate your connections. So uh, uh, electric tape, epoxy, shrink tube, whatever you have that's insulating for wires. Put it over these so they don't touch because then you know uh but see whoops wrong hand let's say somebody was like sending you sos it would look like this on your machine oh whoops hold on something's happening i think one of my wires might be touching somewhere anyways uh yeah but Alright, so something's going on. It's uh, not too big deal. I can fix it. I think it's the LED. I think... Ah, uh, yeah. I think I bought a dud LED. Ah, oh, that sucks. No, wait, wait. There we go. There we go. It. This LED is... Yeah, it's a pretty crappy LED. Uh, I'm going to have to get it fixed. The other one works good. The other one's perfectly fine. It's just one, two. Alright. One, two, three. Alright, anyways, but that's how you build one. It's really, really simple. God damn it. I'll have to fix that, but besides this, this crappy LED, uh, yeah, everything works perfectly. So, uh, see you later.